from here you'd go to the kiln. You take it up 1250 degrees, straight up, straight down. You don't want to open the kiln until it's cool enough. I would say around 700 degrees was a, is a very safe zone. And it's because at 960 degrees to 1000 degrees, the glass starts to change consistency. It starts to turn more fluid, the molecules change. And if it cools down too rapidly, it'll crack. But you can take your kiln up to 1250. Uh, read the label. Sometimes there's low fire. Like this, this stuff is 1150 to 1400. Um, but I found that 1250 works the best. Uh, I like a little bit more of a gloss. Um, so yeah, you would fire that, basically. And then, once you get that done, you'd come back, and this, this would be supposedly already fired in to the glass. And then you would take another coat, and then that's where you would do the matting that I showed you before. And a lot of times here are these other colors this is a like a bister brown that's for shading and you would mat that take your brush you know take out the highlights <laughs> like Bob Ross <laughs> sounds make it better uh, here's another lighter brown you can put on top or over that that just helps with the shading basically you're working in the negative okay so that's the whole point of that uh, if you want to do a highlight, say I want to highlight in her eye, I'll take a little small brush like that. Of course, it needs to be dry. But you can take it, you can move the paint around like that. Or you can even clean up the edges with a little wooden dowel. Really, really define your line. Here's a piece that I did using the shading technique. Uh, this is actually a couple layers of glass, but that's basically how it works. So. Good luck. I wanted to show you this panel here. I call it our, our uh, mistake panel, but <laughs> I took all of our experiments and put them into one panel. There they are. <clears throat> now, this was uh, me trying to learn about the different shades and what they can do of the ruche. That was an experiment employed uh, using enamel. There's some reverse work. There's some of that. Um, hmm. Never give up. We knew that. <laughs> uh, this was one. This was actually a, one of the finished pieces in the other video, traditional stained glass painting. It it busted. Um, the, and, and you followers of that video, um, I could not show the finished piece because of privacy reasons. But here is basically. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Here's basically what it what it ended up looking like. And here's my first piece that I did stained glassing, stained glass ganache. I love ganache. It's just very interesting to draw. Here's a phoenix that I did. So you can do all kinds of stuff with this stained glass painting and, and really incorporate it in, in all kinds of ways. So good luck with your endeavors. Thanks for watching. Bye.